Hello my fellow teabags, Cinric77 coming at you today with a knife cell video. Uh, let's see if we can do this one without dropping the camera this time. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get started with it, shall we? I have two of my quote unquote pimped out crombits for sale, 15 bucks each. Everything for sale today comes with the edge of sin on it already. They're all extremely sharp knives and uh i hope everybody you know hope they sell out and hope everybody enjoys what they get uh, these have been uh actually everything's been sanded down the handles have been polished uh the finger ring has been slightly modified which means i have made it bigger uh there's very little blade play in these I want 15 bucks each. This one's a little on the stiff side because I never carry it. Uh, this one's a little bit smoother. So it's an awesome blade. Modified for a wave feature. Uh, extremely sharp. Extremely awesome. Quick blade. So excellent utility knives. So there you go. I also have my... Uh, Talon Bali and uh, my wannabe uh, 42 clone, both with the edges in, both have uh, very little slap in them, both in excellent, uh, well, I wouldn't say excellent. Both in very fair condition uh, considering their age. 15 bucks a piece for those. SOG E Clip, been carried twice. I got a little bit of funkus on the blade from the last time I carried it. That will wipe right off. Um, this also has the edge of scent on it. Uh, as you can see, clip is good. Smooth, awesome, 15 bucks. Uh, also, uh, polished blade on it. Edge of sin, very well taken care of. Uh, been carried a lot. You can't tell at all. Got some wear on the pocket clip, and that is it. And this one is also 15 bucks for the Kershaw asset. You know, it's, the blade's been polished up so you can carry it without worry or fear of it rusting in your pocket due from sweat or humidity or anything like that. So, everything's still working on that. 15 bucks for that. Got this old school uh, Iron Horse Gentleman's Razor Folder. Uh, old school lock back uh, bone handle done uh, in orange and black for Harley Davidson colors. Uh, the shield here and the uh, engraving on the blade are both a uh, motorcycle surrounded by a ring of fire and it says Iron Horse. The only blemish you'll see on this blade is right there. Besides my Bufunkus, and that is a Rockwell testing spot. Excellent. 15 bucks for it. Uh, a Steel Warrior Stiletto. Excellent condition. Uh, even though it has 100% on the lockup, there's absolutely positively no blade play at all. High polished blade, and once again on here, the only blemish you see is right there is a Rockwell testing spot. Uh, 15 bucks for it so let's get down to others we have a Kara Kara 2 and a Kara Kara 1 my Kara Kara 1 uh, both with the edge of sin on them both of them uh, extremely well taken care of y'all have seen the inside of this one before uh, it's just an awesome blade I have done uh, a little bit of pocket clip swapping so uh and honestly, the pocket clip that I put on here is a lot better than the uh, 
uh, solid one that was on here kind of uh, gives it a little bit more uh, contrast. You can see a little bit more of your knife, stuff like that. It's awesome. Uh, <clears throat> liquid buttery smooth. I'm not going to lie. Uh, how much for this one? Uh, 25. 25 bucks for this one. Uh, it does not have the box. Uh, it's just it is what it is. It's awesome. I dig it. I hope y'all dig it. All these prices do include shipping. We have uh, uh, I'm trying to get in the way of myself here. The uh, Carry Carry 2 full flat grind FRN handle. Uh, this one is a uh, Brand spanking new. It was one of the uh, knives I want from one from Dave Matic. So it's brand new. Besides my fingerprints all over the blade, it has the edge of sin on it. Awesome, awesome, awesome knife. Uh, as you can see, it is extremely smooth. So 25 bucks for it. Yeah, 25 bucks. Takes care of that. Uh, Kershaw Blackout, yeah, and uh, this is uh, for lefties, set up for a lefty right now, but I can switch that around, no problem, 55 bucks on it, because uh, the only thing really wrong with it, it has minimal wear for as long as I've had this uh, blade, y'all, on the pocket clip, and I've carried it a lot, uh, there is... Literally just minor scratching done in the coating. That's just from it opening. Uh, has the edge of sin on it. No broken tip. No rust. No nothing like that. It's awesome. 55 on it. We have the Toronto Crombit done in S30V. This is the one that I did the... Uh, restoration back on it uh, with the broken tip uh, so there is some paint missing from the tip of the blade on the spine but nobody will notice edge of sin on it s30 blade uh, 50 bucks so yeah that's including shipping uh, you might be able to find it cheaper if you can go for it I have it right now for those of y'all who want it it's an S30V blade, so you can't go wrong with it. So, here we go. Uh, also, right here, my Mantis. Uh, right here is going to come with a brand new set of standoffs and a uh, blade stop and all that with it. Uh, this one has a uh, acid stone wash to it with the edge of sin on it. Uh, asking 50 bucks for it. It's an awesome knife. Other than uh, the one pocket clip screw, uh, that's a different story. So 50 bucks on it. Like I said, it comes with a brand new set of standoffs and a backspacer. So, and last but not least, I am selling my. Uh, Kershaw speed bump. I have done a couple of modifications on it. Uh, some light sanding to bring out the uh, the high spots. Kind of give it a, a nice nice little uh, worn look. It has the edge of sin on it. As you can see. It's just a little off center. It's not rubbing anywhere, so it's just an awesome blade. 70 bucks on it. Uh, this is a discontinued knife. Uh, you can find them online, and uh, but I'm selling mine. 70 bucks. Uh, hope everybody uh, can find something in this sell that they like. Thank you very much. Uh, hit me up uh, with a PM if y'all are interested, and we'll work things out from there. Thank you very much, y'all. I'll let you later. Have a good day.